we, we have seen some very interesting actions. I mean, on Easter Monday, the Australian High Commissioner, for example, was in my constituency. Um, went to my constituency, met with people in, under the guise of a cycling tour, but met with people and, and ran around the place and then posted on his official Twitter and Facebook page, including the Australian High Commission, calling me out for being for not doing my job in terms of sanitation and road construction mm. and rather focusing on, 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 on legislation. And so I responded to him on his official handle and said to him that if he was well educated, he would know that uh, the role of an MP is not fixing the road. That's the role of central government, the minister for roads. The role of sanitation is the duty of the assembly, the DCE, not the MP. But the role of the MP is legislation and I'm doing my legislation. Then subsequent to that, we met at the Hart Kotoko game. And there he came and accosted me and threatened me that I would never get a visa to any European country. And I said to him that he has no head of Inzulizu. And in the middle of all of those, uh, that, that confrontation. He said that to you, that you're yeah, not going to yeah, yeah, he said to, to me. any said, European country. Yes, and that if not I, only to Australia, but to no, And he mentioned the United States and all, and said that if I ever stepped in Europe, I'll be arrested. And I said to him, well, he's in Ghana and I will not be threatened. And that if he did not take, his, take care, I would make sure that the laws dealt with him because he had breached several laws in Ghana. Uh, and in the middle of all of that, there were a number of the Hart fans who saw the back and forth and some of them wanted to shake him up a bit and so he ran to the military the next day he writes to the speaker that i had assaulted him and caused a, a mob to attack him you know mm -hmm. and all of that and that's what the speaker said clearly to him we will not be threatened we will not be intimidated in our country you know if we really wanted to call a spade a spade that gentleman would have been expelled from our country because he's broken several laws his first interview that he had in this country was with bolare in which he broke the child children's act of ghana because he went out there and announced that his 14-year-old son he had come to Ghana with was gay. I mean, that that was well, that's against the child's rights, child child's act of Ghana. You, you don't put out such information about a minor in public. I mean, several, several infractions of the law by by this 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 high commissioner who needs to be reined in one way or the other. Are you other. intimidated? Because when he says you're not going to get a visa, you'd be arrested and you are a member of parliament, so you travel for official business. That is a likely possibility. Do I look like I'm intimidated? Do you, I'm think, that, do you think that any... Look, the, 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 the laws of the land are not the whims and caprices of a renegade high commissioner. Not at all. Okay? On what basis am I going to be arrested?